heading to Lake Ronkonka, baby, because take a look. The smoke is back in force to Lake Ronkonka right now. And you're going to see just how... Oh my gosh, look at this smoke. Man. This is incredible. Look at how hazy it is. Wow. Can't go too fast. Sugar sand here. Wow, look at that smoke. Wow, I'm so glad I made it. I was coming back on the bus and I saw how bad the smoke was. I'm like, oh, I gotta stop off here. Look at this. I mean, you can barely see the sun. That is, that's the thickest I've ever seen the smoke so far. Look at this. Wow. I mean, this is the thickest I've ever seen it. I mean, this is really thick. The sun is barely shining. Look at this. Well, you'd think looking at the sky, people would know something is very wrong with this planet, but apparently, Everybody on Wall Street decided to win big today. In their own world, oblivious to the climate catastrophe that we are going through, it's unbelievable. I mean, just look at the sky, man. It's one of the biggest lakes on Long Island. I mean, look at that. Tomorrow is going to be super hazy. I can tell you that right now, looking at this. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. This is this is pretty bad. I have never seen the sun obscured like this. You can see, look at the smoke. Look at it. It's incredible. Look at how visible it is. Wow. Look at how how red that sun is getting. Stay here as long as I can before I gotta head back to the train station. So I'm gonna get on the train at 820. Look at that. It's just a beautiful lake, but this is this is definitely a sign of the kind of trouble we're in on this planet. Well there you go, the sun is fading and uh, we're gonna head on out of here. But uh, there you go, it's setting. The sun is gonna disappear before it even reaches the horizon because we have all this thick smoke here. It is just a statement to how, what dire streets were, and I keep saying it over and over again. That's why you're not going to see me really make, between my mental health and between, you know, I'm going through it, between this planet in crisis, this is what i got to focus on. The environment is in some serious trouble here, all right, and most people are just not aware of what kind of crisis we're in, and, and, and nobody's really doing anything about it, you know? If I was the president, I'd issue an executive order probably banning most light trucks and SUVs, and we'd really we'd do whatever we can to stop this. Whatever we can, all right? All right? You're watching the destruction of a planet, all right? So, remember that. It looks pretty, but we are watching the destruction of a planet and the extinction of many species, destructions of, 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 of Canadian boreal forests, and... This planet is in serious crisis, and I'm going to keep talking about this. This is my priority, all right? Wall Street wants to ignore it. They want to keep living like it's, and partying like it's 1999. Well, it's not 1999. It's 24th, 23, and the planet Earth is dying. So that is pretty much all i got to say here in this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, do your part, all right? You know, we got to get these light trucks and SUVs off the road. If you don't need one, don't drive one. Um, but even that, even if we stopped all the greenhouse gas emissions right now, it's still too late. we got to find a way to get this carbon out of the atmosphere. It's the only way that we're going to get out of this. And it's going to cost billions upon trillions of dollars, maybe even quadrillions of dollars. But we got to do it to save the planet because right now we only know of one planet that we know that supports life, and that is planet Earth. And that needs to be priority number one, the most important thing to mankind and every creature on this planet. So, 
with that, thank you for watching. Have a good night.